One thing's for sure, the less you walk on this, the better. Okay, this roofing material, I'm noticing uh, it's working out really well and it's got these lines on the back of it which make it really easy to cut. Premium Gold 30 Asphalt Felt. So I don't know, I'm, if that's just like something you roll down before you put the roofing on, but just use it as a, a roof anyways, it looks like a roofing. I have an 8 foot roof so I'm cutting it all to 8 foot 4 because I want 2 inches of overhang. One thing I noticed that's really good is um, you can see my little mark right there. I didn't think that I would be able to take a black material and, and draw onto a black material and be able to see it but as you can see my little pencil mark right there uh, makes it really easy to draw on the back of this. I'm going to take this little stick here. I'm just going to trace a straight line. It's really important to be super accurate. One thing's for sure, the less you walk on this, the better. And I have a brush over there just to brush the dirt off as I go because it really collects dirt fast being that it's made of asphalt. Anything you set this stuff on or if it comes in contact with your clothes or your tools or anything, you're going to have tar all over anything it touches. I'm going to have an 8 foot section with 2 inches of overhang right there and I like to scribble in that overhang just so that I remember that that's not the normal section. Then I'm going to have 6 inch flats going across here, slide it out 2 inches as if that's not even there and then start doing your 6 and your 12 and your 1.6 okay and so you just take a line this stick up with your marks and remember we're not going to cut that last two inches so don't mark the last two inches and see we made a little mark right there for cutting okay so there's the first set of faux shingles Notice how I'm leaving this last two inches intact. Remember not to cut these side parts. These are going to fold over and get tacked down with some nails. So up here you can see that I already put some of this drop cloth on here, three mil drop cloth to use as a waterproofing in case it actually rains. So this is one solid piece. So you can see I waterproofed the top with 3 mil drop cloth and I just stapled that down and uh, now you can see the roof starting to take shape with these fake shingles that I made and um, on either side I'm just going to staple it twice and I just stapled it twice on that side. The staples will be covered by the overhang in the next layer. And um, as far as the sides, I might just leave them like that. Kind of looks like a roof overhang. 